What are ETFs? How are they different from a mutual fund? Should you choose a mutual fund or an ETF? We will find answers to all those questions in this episode. Hello everyone, I am Vijay Mohan and you are watching Investment Insights. ETFs are exchange traded funds. They are very similar to a mutual fund. ETFs also hold a basket of stocks or bonds just like a mutual fund. The difference in an ETF is, unlike a mutual fund, it can be traded throughout the trading day, just like stocks, and their price fluctuates throughout the day based on market demand. But a mutual fund does not trade like an ETF or a stock. As we saw in last episode, its unique price now will be calculated at the end of the day. This is the key difference between a mutual fund and an ETF. Is there an advantage to an ETF? Not necessarily. Yes, you get to buy or sell an ETF in real time when the market is open. But at what price? It could be trading at a premium price compared to the value of the underlying assets. That means you might be paying more than its worth. We do not have that problem with a mutual fund as the end of the day value is calculated based on the value of its underlying assets. So if you value trading flexibility, ETF is advantageous. But if you want the right value, then mutual fund has upper hand here. The next difference is how they are managed. Most of the ETFs follow an index and so they are not actively managed. If you don't know what an index is, don't worry about it for now. We will dig deep into index in the next episode. So while most of the ETFs are passive, most of the mutual funds are actively managed. Though this is generally the case, there are active ETFs like ARKK and there are passive mutual funds like Vanguard US Total Stock Market Index Fund VTSAX. The next difference is fees. As most of the ETFs are passive, they do not charge that much fees. It is cheap when compared to mutual funds fees. This Vanguard Total Stock Market Index ETF VTI charges 0.03% as fees. Though the fees are cheaper with ETFs in general, an active ETF like ARKK can charge hefty fees. ARKK charges 0.75% as fees. An active mutual fund will charge a similar fee as well. But the fees of a passive mutual fund will be comparable to one ETF. For example, this Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund charges 0.04% as fees a 0.01 percentage higher than its ETF counterpart. So when it comes to fees, both are very similar for index funds. Though ETFs might be a little bit cheaper than a mutual fund. Advantage, ETF. The next difference is investment minimums. You can easily buy an ETF unit for a smaller amount. But a mutual fund generally requires a minimum amount of investment. For example, this ETF, VTI can be bought for as low as $200. But the mutual fund version of this index VTSAX requires at least $3,000. So in this regard, ETFs are better as it is available for smaller investors as well. The next difference is tax efficiency. ETFs are way more tax efficient than a mutual fund. Why? To understand that, we should know how an ETF is structured. There are two players in an ETF, an ETF sponsor and authorized participants, APs. To create one unit of ETF, the ETF sponsor needs a basket of underlying securities that make up the ETF. AP buys those securities from the secondary market, bundles them into an ETF unit and provides those units to the ETF sponsor. So in exchange for those units, the ETF sponsor provides ETF shares to the AP. AP then introduces the new ETF shares to the secondary market. An example can help to understand this better. Let's say that you are trying to buy an ETF. All trading of ETFs happen in the secondary market. So if there are enough shares of ETFs available to buy in the market, you should be able to buy them directly from others. But what if the demand for the ETF is a lot more than the ETF shares available for trade? The authorized participants will notice the demand for the ETF. They will create new units of ETF by buying the underlying securities in the secondary market and bundling them together as ETF units. Those new ETF units will be delivered to the ETF sponsor. In exchange for those units, the ETF sponsor will deliver ETF shares to the AP. Now AP introduces those new ETF shares into the secondary market to meet the demand. So you should be able to buy the ETF. If the ETF sponsor constantly buys and sells securities to meet the ETF demand, they could end up with profits from the sale. That would result in capital gains tax. That is exactly what happens with the mutual fund. The fund manager sells and buys the underlying securities to meet the redemption and buy demand. But in an ETF, they are not actually buying or selling securities. They are just 
exchanging the underlying securities for equivalent ETF shares. So it is an in-kind creation and redemption process, meaning similar securities are exchanged. And so no profit or loss from the exchange. What that means is they do not incur any capital gains tax at all. And that is why an ETF is tax efficient. But the APs are buying and selling the securities. Wouldn't they incur capital gains tax? Possibly. But when the APs buy securities from the secondary market, they are exchanging that with a similar ETF share in the secondary market. The whole process happens so fast that they might not incur any profit or loss. Many folks prefer ETFs over mutual funds just because of this tax efficiency in ETFs. Another difference is transparency. A mutual fund discloses its holdings only once per quarter. So we wouldn't really know what the fund manager is buying or selling every day. But with an ETF, especially in an actively managed ETF, they disclose their holdings every day. So we know exactly what the fund manager is doing every day. This is an important difference that we should consider for an actively managed fund. But for an index fund, it does not really matter as both the ETF and the mutual fund update themselves to reflect any changes in the underlying index. Now you know the difference between a mutual fund and an ETF. Both has its advantages and disadvantages. You have to choose one depending on your needs. See you all soon in another episode. Thanks for watching.